Hey guys, welcome back. This is PC Smith Nine, and today I will be showing you the new beta vehicle of Vanta. Um, so yeah, beta is now out on NPS, and I will be showing you basically how it drives. Um, for disclaimers, I don't. Well, I did not copy the map. I basically found it like so before you do say I didn't have it or get it leaked myself um, so yeah let's get right into it so I'm showing you the new system I've tweaked it edited it and uh, well basically made it better the suspension has been done um, and basically all of the good stuff um, I've added one of the new cars uh, cars bodies onto it and I see it works and looks really fine so let's get into it as you see there is no sound of engine or any other stuff yet but it will be soon. GUIs have to be reworked as they do not fit to different scales of uh, screens. So, for example, if I do this, they'll go up like that. That's basically the settings on on um, Studio. So, they do scale, but they don't scale as big as that they do this basically but we are going to try and fix that hopefully anyways let's get into it and as you the car is working really nice now it's not wobbling or anything I've sorted out all of the suspension it's basically um, it's basically just ready for release but without the features I'm not going to release it. I'm not releasing a car that's not um, showing all the features I promised just yet. But as you see, it is there and ready to be released. So as soon as features are added, I will release it and uh, the new car body will be coming out with it. A big uh, thanks to the car's maker. I forgot his name, but he has release this to public and this car is officially a Vanta now it's been reworked um, I've done some interior stuff to it of interior work um, basically it looks more professional inside you've got a little windscreen there well a really nice windscreen with no um, nothing showing on it, no marks or anything. So uh, new dash. There's a new mirror. You got a little gear shift. Um, the old radio system is in there, and we do have seat belt that are there for show. And I will be adding a, um, a camera system to it, so it's more dynamic. Um, yeah, the suspension works really nice now. It doesn't bob up and down, it doesn't rotate. It does rotate, but it's only very, very little then. Uh, the car copes really good. Flip system needs to be redone. But I'm having another script of mine a great old friend of mine to do that uh, some of my scripters are busy now typical but um, yeah it's not that fault anyway um, but yeah I would like to say a big thank you to Prevised and a few others for working on this um, I will link the car the previous car mod in the description soon um, so you can take that 
as well. But yeah, basically, um, Evander is coming back slowly. But we promise you the new company now. We've redesigned it, we've redesigned the logo. But we promise you we're going to take some of your um, wants and needs, basically, um, some of your musts and must have comments and um, try and implement them into the system. So this is going to be a user friendly system and what you want you might get in future updates. We promise you that for a fact. So we are going to be listening to you. Um, so say you wanted, um, I don't know, better lighting. We'll give you better lighting which we have. You can't see it right now because I haven't hooked up the lights. You can see it barely but we have added more dynamic lighting as I've shown you in the uh, past few videos. Sorry for the delay of videos as well. Um, I've been really busy and just haven't had time to make videos. But I promise you that I have been working on this um, chassis and stuff. So, yeah. Um, I just see over here, here's a little template of something that I've made. No, this is not off of a chassis. Uh, I did take the template off here, just to use, but I've remade the wheels so you can see they're a lot more rounder. I've designed them in um, paint.net so they're more nicer um, because the other ones are squared on a chassis or squared with a curved side. But these ones aren't, and these ones will indicate whether you're, when you're doing, um, let's say when you're doing drifting, it'll indicate if you put in too much heat on the tyres, it'll start to go from white to yellow to red, and once it goes to red, it stops you from drifting um, to prevent the tires from popping but they won't pop in real life um, they would in real life but not in in your that's what I meant to say um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be doing this red desk uh, the heat desk uh, I don't think it's really good actually I've gone off it again now but yeah these new tires these are gonna be default as well as these so they're going to be with the chassis and these wheels are going to be for the cars. But the chassis um, is having default wheels. To show you uh, that you can implement your own wheels. Uh, the wheel size doesn't matter anymore, which is a really good thing. Uh, before it did matter, but now you can just change the wheel size wherever you want. You can make a massive, as long as uh, the body is clear. Like, um, as long as you pull the car up, the suspension on it, and putting the car's suspension up is really basic. Um, putting the wheels together are basic as well, if I show you. Um, as you see, the steering, the steering is really fluent, which I'm really proud of. So if I show you. For example. So the wheels don't have to be there, actually. You know, the wheels could be over here, basically. And these, these are wheel points, but they, they don't have to be there. As long as you have the wheels, like, as long as you have the suspension above it, it will automatically click the place. As you just saw there, it'll drag the place. As long as it's not too far away from the car as well. Like, crazy, crazy away from the car. So as long as it's something like this. You've got to have it pointed in front of the thing. Otherwise, if it drags out, it will make the car vanish. Um, a really good uh, tip is keeping the car. Um, right now, it's set to... Oh, no, I don't think that's actually needed now. Well, these are prefix set to that, but 
because I'm having my script to rework the system making a manual and um, automatic system gear sh uh, system into it it'll probably be changed through that the driving system will probably be changed so um, anyways if I show you this if I run this as you see it's a bit glitched but Oh, hang on, that's weird. Yeah. Why is that there? I don't want that. If I find the... Actually... It's a bit, um... Temperamental, this system, at the minute. But I promise you it's nearly done. Basically, see, it may look weird like that, but the wheels snap the place. As you see, they're out here. But what? Bang, snap the place. And if I lift it up, once you put pressure on it, it will rise back, I believe. Oh, that's a little bug i got to fix as well. Don't worry, that's, uh, that's, ah, uh, that's why I look. It's come out of this wheel, that's all. So if I look at the position of that, and change the position of that. That's weird. Ah, uh, it's probably that one. Well. If I undo it, there you go. If I copy that position, move that over there. So basically, yeah, um, sometimes that will happen if you don't do it correctly. But as long as you put the wheels on, similarly, really good. Like, for example, that one. Well, you want to basically get it up to you. Ah, yeah. I was doing it wrong, sorry. Um, the wheel points you got to put in the right uh, connection, like by there. Otherwise, it won't, you know, it won't uh, align properly. So, if I do this, the wheel point. You've also got another box like that. Like another brick like this size you don't want to change the size of these okay these are important the size of these um, you've basically got a steerer steer part in front and on this side and then you've got all four around there around the car for each wheel point so these will tell the car where to put the wheels um, anyways that's all and Yeah, so that's all I wanted to say. Um, also, if you have noticed, the engine block isn't in the engine bay, but I prefer to put it in front of the grill. That way you have direct contact with the grill um, because when it does smoke, if I show you, oh, and I just remember something. When it does smoke, it will come out of the grill. One sec. So yeah. Um, also, the car will detect soon whether you're R15 or R6, and it will start playing. Uh, the animation that your character is on so either R6 or R15 that way then you'll fix the engine and them um, animations so yeah uh, that's all I wanted to say and this is PC Smith and I'll see you next time
So I